everybody, Box and Boa and Dorothy Fangirl. Dorothy Fangirl come back at you. This is the Tarantula Tag Part 2. This is started by Eerie Arachnids. I was tagged by Andrew's Tarantulas. And um, I got my Yoda out real quick, just showing you that every tarantula is different. Pretty you can come in a little bit closer if you want real quick before we start asking, before we go on to the questions. Um, but this is an awesome tarantula. He's hopefully will go in the molt here soon. But as you can see, mine is not skittish. I'm staying calm. I'm letting Yoda move through my hands. Um, and he's just a wonderful tarantula. Or she. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. So the, I just wanted to share Yoda with you guys. And just what an awesome tarantula. Alright, Priest, let's go and start this tag. There you go, Yoda. Now you can get back down to where you were. Such a good such a good tarantula. I do not love tarantulas. Okay. Alright. Brees, what's the first question? So the first question is, if you could, if you could only keep one genus of tarantula, what would it be? And pick only one. For me, it would be the old world baboon species. Um, I'm not going to go into the scientific names because I'm not very good at that, which you guys know. But just any baboon species, I absolutely love. Um, I, I am really finding a passion for them, so I would have to say now... As I'm getting more experience, I would say the baboon species, the old world. Um, I like the Mexican red meat, or is it No, you're talking about the Brachypalma genus? Oh, sorry, I get them mixed up, because I haven't liked the scientific things either, but... Why do you like the Brachypalma genuses? I really like the, um, the variety and the different sizes of them. I think it's really cool, so it kind of attracts me to them. I just think they're really pretty. That's a good. That's a good answer. And like I said, the old world. I just love them because you get the old world baboons. There's so many varieties of colors, and just uh, they just they just do it for me. The webbing, the way they throw up, you know, defensive threat postures, just everything about them. I I love. All right, what's the next question? All right, what is one piece of advice you would offer to a new keeper? All right, India, what's one piece of advice um, you would offer to a new keeper? Do your research on the animal you're gonna get. Before, do your research. You do your research before you go out and buy it. Very good. And then make sure you speak up a little bit so they can, okay. just in case they can't hear you. Um, for me, the the one piece of advice I'd give, especially to new keepers, considering I'm new to this hobby, um, is make sure that you really go out and watch a ton of videos um, of people that have tarantulas you know that way you have a better grasp of what a tarantula is what a tarantula looks like how they eat how they I would say watch a bunch of videos on tarantulas all right what is one positive change in you hobby related one positive change in me hobby related yep let me see I want to make sure I'm reading that right what yes. question is that it's number the, it's three? A third one yep what is one positive change in you hobby related? One positive change for me that this hobby has done is really, I don't know, brought you and me closer together, don't you think? I'd say that's the biggest thing. It's brought me and my daughter closer together, and that's all due to this hobby because you were in the tarantulas first. I was scared of them, and you took me to, see, to the zoos to see them. You always wanted to go to the pet stores and see them. So, for me, it's brought us closest together. What's one positive change that the hobby's had on you? Um, it teaches me to be more responsible in taking care of things. So I think that's a good change. Ah, yes, I like that, being more responsible. That's really good. All right, Chris, what's the next question? What do you regret bringing into your collection, and what do you regret not getting when you could have? Um, honestly, I haven't regretted any tarantula that I've brought into my collection. Not one. Um, India, is there anything that you've regretted that you've picked out that no. we've ordered and got? And then what was part two to that, Priest? Um, let me find it. And what, and what do you, like, regret not buying when you could Okay, have? what do I regret not buying? Um, for me, it would have to be Oh, that's hard. But 
for me, it would be not buying the P Metallica when I saw them on a good deal on a website, and I, I really wish I would have jumped on them, and I didn't. Uh, what do you re what, what do you regret not getting that um, I should have got you? I don't know. I'd, I have a, I'd have to look it up because I couldn't really think of anything on the top of my head, so I'm not really sure at the moment. All right. What are your favorite? Yeah. What are your favorite and least favorite aspects of the hobby? My favorite aspects of the hobby is honestly the community that it's opened up to me. It's opened up this. There are so many incredible people that I've gotten to know and that I've gotten to talk to and that I've gotten to learn and grow from and become friends with and, and legitimate friends. And I love that about this hobby. I would never thought that, I, I honestly thought that transfers were just a pet stores. I didn't know that there was websites. I didn't know that there was this huge community on YouTube and throughout the United States and let alone across the pond. I didn't know anything about that. And once I got into this hobby, it opened up so many doors and expanded my knowledge and my just really blew me away. Really, you know, about it. India, what do you think about that question? The positive aspect. The positive aspect, right? Um, mm -hmm. It gives me fuel for, fuel for imagination. So Fuel for imagination. Interesting. Because one of my characters is based off of some of the spiders. So oh, so, so, and so, and so okay, explain to people about your stories and, and talk loudly so they can hear you. Um, well, I write a lot and I draw a lot. So with that comes I have to create a lot of creative characters and sometimes the spiders and all their different colors and their personalities inspires me to draw and make characters based on some of those tarantulas which is fun. So That's awesome and what was the part two of that? What uh, do I, what don't your, I like about the hobby? my least favorite aspect. My least favorite aspect about this hobby is honestly <coughs> the, the, the care guide videos, I mean not the care guide videos, the care guides that I see online just drives me off the wall because very rarely are they giving me accurate information to care for my thing. So I'd say that's probably my least favorite thing of the hobby is that is is because as a new keeper, you know, I've only been doing this what four years this summer. Um there was so much online care guide information that was so way out of base it I don't even know how they came up with the care guides. So that's probably my least favorite thing about the hobby. What's your least favorite thing about the hobby? Um, I mean, sometimes it can be kind of messy. I mean, when you're rehousing or something, the door goes everywhere and you have to, you know, back and all up. But that's just a small thing. It doesn't even, it's not even that important. But if I had to nitpick something, that'd probably be it. That's good. That's And that's that's good because you do do clean up after my messes. I mean, it's no big deal, though. But, that's but it just, is yeah. a part of it. If you could do a collaboration with any YouTuber, who would you choose and why? Alright, Indy, who would you choose? I would choose Michael Davis because he's the one that kind of helped us out in the beginning. So that's Very good, Day Lord Night Exotics, or Day Lord or Night, he's, he dropped the exotics part. That's a, that's a good, that's, I'd, like, I'd like to see that collab with you too. He's such a nice guy, and, his, and his, he's got the little boy, his son. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, <coughs> for me, who would I like to collab with? Oh. There's so many people that, and, and I'm just speaking Tarantula community related here, that I have got connected with and I have learned from and, oh man, that, that's, that's hard. Um, but I would say I would like to I would like to do a collab with uh, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings by thinking I'm not wanting to do a collab with them. But at the same time, I like this question, Dave. You you really you really got me with this one. Um, so for me, I, I'd say my first collab video I'd like to do is would be the Invertebratium guy. Um, you guys know Lee Lid Lee Lad. I always and Wee Man. I always worry about saying names wrong and then I end up saying them wrong anyway. 
Um, but I would say I'd like to do a collab with them and Wee Man because they remind me of when Priest was growing up and how close him and his son are with Priest, how close he is with his son Wee Man, and how close I am with Priest at that age, and how me and Priest have gotten closer as we got older, and their relationship reminds me so much of my relationship with Priest, so I'd, I'd honestly want to do a collab with him. Right. And, the, uh, and then anybody right. else or no? Mm -hmm. All right. What are your feelings on handling tarantulas? Well, that has changed over time. Um, I look at it like this. India, why don't you take it first? Um, I wouldn't recommend if you're not familiar with tarantulas not to handle them until you've seen other people and the tips they say, like, people actually know what they're doing and have done their research on tarantulas. Um, people who really know what they're doing so you can look at them and really get the knowledge up and you really have to know the tarantula that you're going to hold and if they're really ready to be hold, held because if they're babies, obviously don't hold them. But if you really want to, then really be careful with the tarantula and don't just walk around going, hey everyone, I have a tarantula. You have to, you know, watch Right. It. In other words, what they do at zoos and stuff, you don't like how they go, here, here, here. Yeah. Okay, um, for me, I've changed on that. I, I used to be dead set against it. I used to hate it. <laughs> and now... As you saw, I was handling my GGB. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to show people that every tarantula is different. And I understand Yoda's personality. I know when Yoda's in a good mood, when Yoda's in a bad mood, and Yoda is not skittish at all. Um, do I handle my tarantulas all the time? No, I don't. Um, I used to be just really against it, but now I look at it like this. If you want to handle your tarantula, that's fine. Just understand that when you do, just like when I do, okay, you're taking the risk of being bit, okay? Now, if you get bit, it's just like with anything else. You can't freak out. You have to let the tarantula do what it's going to do and then calmly put it back in its enclosure. But understand the risk you're taking. You're taking the risk of taking a bite. You're taking the risk of harming the tarantula, you know, and you're taking the risk of the tarantula falling and getting hurt. And so make sure you understand and take all those into account before you choose to handle your tarantula. Um, is it something, like I said, that I do all the time? No. But do I do it every now and then? Yes, I do. Do I think it's wrong? No. But just understand the risk involved. All right. What was your biggest mistake? My biggest mistake, India, would you say when we got the two Brachypalma Fomores, that was my biggest mistake. I was rehousing them, one, they were both in separate enclosures, and it, I didn't have catch cups ready to go, um, and it climbed out, and it walked, and I went to put my hand there to stop it, to crawl into my hand, and it fell. It didn't, you know and it's admin ruptured i tried to save it but it was too it was too small of a sling and it died and that was a very valuable lesson for me to learn about catch cups and things like that it was the tarantula paid for my mistake for me being unprepared um and that is my biggest regret i have mistake and regret that i have with that because that still bothers me because that shouldn't have happened that's on me and you can hear my voice it still upsets me because I killed that tarantula because I did not do the proper things I needed to do to be ready to, to set up and yeah, what's your biggest regret um, uh, with tarantulas what's your biggest mistake with keeping tarantulas so far um, uh, kind of the same thing with you but like not as specific because sometimes when we didn't have catch cups ready and they would just come out but we kept catch them most of the time but that's not very specific. Right, not being prepared. But if I had to say anything, that would probably be it. Okay. Priest, what's the next question? All right. What are your channel goals? India, you have a channel, Dorothy Fangirl. What's your channel goals? Um, I don't really take my YouTube seriously. It's just kind of a fun thing to do, but probably to upload more than I usually do. So that's, that's good. That's good. Um, my channel goals, honestly, is to continue to put out information out there, fun information. Uh, to show, you know, uh, my my big channel goals, honestly, is just to help grow 
just to help grow my ch how do I say this it's to help grow and to help others to grow expand too the expand the community thank you India expand the community whether it's in the reptiles I keep or whether it's in the tarantulas or arachnids that I keep I want to expand the goal and and I want to continue to do that with my channel I feel I can do that with my channel um I, I want I want to turn people I want to continue to turn people on with my videos that I do have I made mistakes in videos yes I have but I acknowledge those mistakes and I move forward and I try to better it long-term goal for me is to have 5,000 subscribers I know some people want a hundred thousand some people want 50,000 but my biggest goal is to get 5,000 subscribers one day um, that's my biggest goal it's and I have little goals set up in between there but that's probably my biggest goal is to get that and to continue just to help have you guys have fun and listen to me and you guys know I keep a uh, raw and uncut I'm as real as I can be I don't hide from anything I show everything don't you think India so yeah that's it that's it I am what I am all right shout outs shout outs um three three shout outs one I want to give to Tarantula Haven um, he's been doing YouTube for a little bit now and his videos his content the way he comes across, the education, how he films, bam. I gotta give Tarantula Haven a shout out for that. Um, the next shout out I wanna give to is, um, well, I already said his name, but I, I, I know he's been, well, I haven't said his name in this video, but I said his name in a video I put out earlier today and I know Andrew's tarantula has shouted him out before in, in the tarantula tag, but it's going to be Spider V. Um, that, that dude has become a really, really, really good friend of mine. He messages me. He, we've talked on the phone. We've video chatted. Um, he's just such a wonderful guy that I connect to on so many different levels you know on our faith and our beliefs and the way we are um so yeah that definitely be my second shout out and then my third shout out shout out would be to um India before I say my third shout out is there any shout outs you want to give? Carolina's Tarantulas I think Carolina's Tarantulas yeah, yeah you really like her yeah, huh? Yeah I'm pretty sure that's what her name is I don't want to mess up your name so. That's good, and that was going to that was that was a really good one. My my third shout out is going to be to BC uh, Pythons. Bill, you guys know I've given him shout outs before, but I want to give him a shout out because he is new to tarantula keeping. He just got a, a a green bottle blue like I have. He's got I think up to eight tarantulas now, and he's starting to grow in his tarantula keeping, and and he's doing things the right way. So I got to give him a shout out on that because he's really he's coming along in this tarantula stuff and it's pretty cool to watch him grow all right show your favorite enclosure that you have made my favorite enclosure that i have made honestly and i'd even make it would be my obt ronin's enclosure now why is this my favorite enclosure is it it's is it because i have cork bark and decorations and all that stuff no it's because the integral webbing that he has done to his enclosure and utilized all the space in it. And he's webbed everything up. He has all these holes and stuff he can go into. And so that's why this is my favorite enclosure. I mean, look at this webbing. Look at that. And, and how can you not find him beautiful? I'm here, I'll open it up. Please. That way you can see Ronan. I absolutely, I gotta find that little thingy. I didn't put a button in this one like I did the other ones to pull it up. There it is. I mean, look at this enclosure. Look at that setup. Is that not awesome? I, you can't help but love it. And no, I am never gonna handle my, my old world species like this. Because as you can see, instant defense. And he's just saying, please leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered or anything like that. And 
So you got to respect that. And I just, I absolutely love Ronan. That's Priest's favorite tarantula. All right, buddy, what's the next question? It's, we're outside, it's, it's the beginning of summertime, so we're gonna have noises. Answer to the question of whoever tagged you. Okay, India, you wrote that down, right? Yeah. That Andrew's tarantulas, yeah, read what he asked me. If there's anything about the hobby that you could change, what would it be, and how would you like it to be? Anything I could change about the hobby, what would be what I, The one thing <coughs> that I would like to change about the hobby, for me, um, is I would like a BTS light show here in America. We have Tinley, we have Daytona, and those are all we have Pomona, you know, we have all these big reptile shows where yeah, there are tarantulas at these shows, but we don't have anything like the BTS, which is the British Tarantula Society, I believe. We don't have that here in the United States. And I would love to have a show where it's all invertebrates and arachnids and where all of us could get together at a big show like that and just meet up all us tarantula keepers and arachnids and, and invertebrate keepers could get together and do a big to have a big show like that that's just strictly for us that way. In that aspect. Don't get me wrong, I love Tinley for my reptiles. And and they do bring a lot of good stuff, but I think that'd be so cool to get all the in vendors like that. Um, how would I go about changing that? Honestly, for me, I would have to, honestly, I think in order to change that, I'd have to get in contact with every single tarantula and invertebrate breeder, that I mean vendor that does shows, and I would have to get a hold, I'd have to get the word out about it, and I'd have to try and put, get somebody to help promote that show, put that show on, and get all the vendors and strictly just that type of stuff for a show and I think it could be done. Um, I think we're getting close to something like that because so many more people are keeping you know tarantulas and other you know invertebrates and stuff like that tour. I think I could I think I could change it if I just honestly if we just settled down and talked to all the the breeders out there and got together and figured out what would be the best time of year and where would be the best place to host that show? So that would be it. Um, what's the next question, Prodi? Ask a new question for the person you are tagging. And who are we tagging, India? Uh, Carolina's tarantulas. Sorry. I know you were trying to. You're like, <laughs> um, it's going to be uh, Carolina's tarantulas. If you guys don't know who she is, she's this awesome person, and um, that's my buddy Trent, by the way, which you guys saw in my live stream the other day. Um, but it's gonna be Carolina, Carolina Tarantulas. I'm gonna tag her in this, she's across the pond. And she's just, she's got an epic channel. It's it's a wonderful channel, I know you love it. You've gotten, she shows a lot of DIY stuff. She just shows so much cool stuff. And you know, my question for her would be, you know, is it hard for you to find the stuff in your country that we have in our country and what I mean by that is is it harder for you to find acrylic enclosures is it harder for you to find plants is it harder for you to find you know the stuff that you need to keep your tarantulas the way you like to keep them compared to how easy it is for us just to go to the dollar store or the Dollar Tree or Walmart or you know where it's so much easier for us to order online on Amazon or from uh, other people that build enclosures here that it's so much easier for us that's to have shipped to our house and have it the next day you know is it harder for you to do that there and I don't know if it is or not but I'd like to know and if it is how do you remedy that how do you fix that so that's that's it so I just want to thank you know Andrews transfers for tagging me in this transfer shout out and and tagging India sorry it took us so long to get this going but I was sick and then you got sick and we're so happy that we did it. And this is um, this is uh, Tarantula Cat is the one that started the original Tarantula tag, which is epic. And I'll leave a link to that playlist below. And then uh, Eerie Arachnids, Dave is the one that started um, this Tarantula tag part two. 
and we want this to be an international tag and we hope that's what this will is turning into so Carolina if you hopefully you see this video and if you do it make sure you tag someone over here in the United States and then have that person tag someone back across the pond and so that's how we can keep it going back and forth so thank you so much for tuning in to Dorothy Fangirl and Boxing Boa and Ronan and Yoda and and thank you priest for honestly being the best cameraman we could ever ask for don't you agree yes he's the best cameraman so you guys have a blessed and positive day because you know we're going to i'm so happy you're feeling better thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate it hopefully you stayed with us you guys have a blessed and positive day peace